Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about how to construct ice tables. If, for example, initially there is one mole of nitrogen tetroxide in the closed system, and then when the system reaches equilibrium, there were 1.8 moles of nitrogen dioxide in the system, how much of the nitrogen tetroxide remains at equilibrium? To solve this problem, we can use something called an ice box. The letters stand for initial concentrations, changing concentrations, and equilibrium concentrations. The ice box is prepared like this. Then for initial concentrations, put one mole under nitrogen tetroxide and zero moles under nitrogen dioxide, as there is no nitrogen dioxide at the start. The total change in concentration is unknown at this point, and so it is represented as x, negative x for the reactant because it is being used up to reach equilibrium. Because the stoichiometric coefficient of the product is 2, plus 2x is written. Had the coefficient been 1, then only 1x would have been written. The reaction stoichiometry is always followed. Finally, the sum of the initial and the change is calculated to give the equilibrium amounts. For the reactant, this is 1 minus x, and for the product, the equilibrium concentration is 2x. As the final concentration of nitrogen dioxide was measured as 1.8 moles, which is equal to 2x, by doing some simple algebra, the value for the reactant can be found as 0.1 moles. Let's check comprehension. 